In this section, we will build the main Dart function in order to trigger our Flutter application. So we should be in the main.dart file, which should now be completely empty. We should be looking at a crashed application on our emulator. And so we are going to need to write a Dart function. Now, fortunately, you don't need to know very much Dart in order to get off the ground with Flutter. This is very different from something like Android or iOS, whereas if you don't understand uh, enough about the language, you're going to have a hard time getting even started uh, in those platforms. Fortunately for Dart, you don't need a whole lot to get off the ground. And so what we'll do is we will program our app and we will work in parts of Dart as we go along, which is really nice. This is why I'm not starting with a two hour section on all the variables in Dart and how to do loops and classes and all of that stuff. We don't need to do that to build a Flutter application. You will eventually need to know the Dart language well in order to be successful in Flutter, but you don't need it to start. And so we're gonna get started with an application and weave Dart knowledge in as we go. So our first function is going to be a void, and that just means it doesn't return anything. And it's a main function. We're gonna open up some curly braces. And now we're gonna take advantage of part of the Flutter platform, and we are going to call a function called run app, like that. A semicolon, and believe it or not, we are done with our main function. Now we have a couple of problems. One is inside of this run app, we need to pass it an app to run and we don't have that. That's going to be the next thing we build. But the other problem is, is our Visual Studio code is not recognizing this run app. And that's because it is not part of Dart. It is part of the Flutter platform. And we need to import that portion of the Flutter platform that contains that function. And so anytime we have a, a lack of an import, we can hover over it, we can go to this nice little light bulb, and it will give us some options. And it will give us actually three different packages or libraries that we can import from that would resolve this error. And we wanna go with package flutter slash material dart. So we select that, and that's going to resolve the error around the function. We are still missing an app there. So then we're aware of that. We need to build the app before we can pass it in. Now, I don't want you to get too bogged down in this import up here, but you saw that there were other options. And that is because Flutter offers multiple types of applications. And Material is one of those types of applications. And it's based on Material Design which is uh, you can learn more about at material.io. And this is a Google design system that if you use Google products or a lot of Android is going to look very familiar. And the Flutter material library provides a lot of widgets that have these design implementations and specifications already implemented. So if you are wanting to use the material design system, uh, it's very easy to do with the material library in Flutter. So that's what we're gonna start with. So we have our, our main function here. We just need to fill in an app. So that's what we're gonna do in the next section.